Hello, Ron Hellman, EdTech Consultant from Kent ISD. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a virtual background in Zoom, but this is a little different than the ones you might think of. Normally when folks talk about a virtual background, they are using some sort of a static slide that might be behind them just to make sure they don't see wherever they might be sitting. So this one is a advanced feature inside of Zoom, and this one allows you to use a PowerPoint slide deck that you have saved on your computer as your virtual background and you will be superimposed or floating on top of that. So the way that you start this out is in Zoom in the interface, if you go down to the share screen button, if you click share, there's three little tabs that we have here. The one is basic, this is the one where you can normally share things. Advanced is the one we're looking for and there's also files but we're just going to look at advanced. You can use then PowerPoint as a virtual background. If you select that one and do share, it'll ask you where your video, or I'm sorry, where your PowerPoint is located. So I'm going to grab a PowerPoint slide deck real quick. You'll see down at the bottom, these are your controls for your slide deck. So there's 52 slides here. And the way that you would go through your presentation as you were talking to people would be just clicking through the slides down on the bottom and you are now superimposed and you appear like you're in the video. So this acts as a way to have a lot more engagement with your crowd um, that are attending. The one thing I would urge you as you go through the slide deck is just to make sure that um, when you create a slide deck, if you're gonna do this feature, make sure that you're sizing yourself appropriately so you're never not covering your content. Um, you'll see it cuts you off at the bottom over there too. You might end up sliding yourself over different places um, there's not a lot of margins that you can adjust here. So it's basically, your, this is your webcam view and it's cutting out your background. So you just have to plan for that. The other thing I would tell you to plan for, I'll get into this. Uh, so this PowerPoint deck was originally created in Google Slides and exported out to PowerPoint. You'll see that it does some really strange things to the text. So before you do just a quick, if you create it in Google Slides and exported it as a PowerPoint deck, PPTX file, uh, make sure to open that PowerPoint back up and go in and fix any of the uh, text issues that you might have, especially on wrapping, or you've got some strange, um, just strange sizing in there because it'll be a little disconcerting. So here's another example of me covering up uh, parts so I can slide myself over. And again, it's kind of a neat idea. So I thought I'd show you that real quick because I think it will be great if you're doing presentations out to groups and to other folks maybe to just increase the engagement and that feeling that they're sort of with you in this meeting instead of just being a detached head or a body off screen someplace. Thanks. Have a great day and keep doing what you're doing.